welcome to Seattle here at Trash Mobile Park. I say that because I've had T-Mobile before and they absolutely suck when it comes to cell service. Nonetheless, the Mariners not so much. They're a decent team, 46-42. As you see, Lewis standing up in the dugout. Joking and whatnot, which we appreciate. All right, we jump to the top of the first. Kevin Biggio is, ooh, inside fastball, is going to walk as the first base runner of the game. We jump ahead a couple batters. Teoscar Hernandez smacks this one to right field. It's going to bounce and roll to the wall as we're going to hold up there at second and third with two away, his 13th double of the season. That is good. The designated hitter. Lord is Here's Lucky number 13. Lord is Guriel. He's going to smoke one to the right center field gap. It's going to bounce and roll a long way. Driving in two. Giving us an early two run lead. His 15 for the year. That exists. Danny Jensen up next to bat. Fourth in AL catcher all star voting. Though he's really a DH, to be honest. And, oh! I know you heard that one. Seattle's got some lumber, and we used it to use that bat to smash one deep. We're now taking a 4 nothing lead. It's still the first inning. Espinal is going to ground one to second, and the behind the back flip by, by Frazier. We got to take a look at that again. Listen, man. I didn't know you had glove game like this. Look at this. Glove to hand. He has definitely come to play. That is an extremely difficult thing to do with a baseball, let alone a guy like Magic Johnson did it with a basketball. Speaking of Frazier, bam! First pitch he sees, he is wasting no time to get Seattle on the board. It's 4-1. That is Jose De Leon out there pitching. I like his pitch mix, but he can run in the trouble. Okay. Doesn't have the best of control there as he attempts to sneak a two-seamer by him. It's not going to come to fruition. As you can see, Frazier, Crawford, Winker, Hanniger, France, Kalenic, Suarez, Torrens, and Julio Rodriguez are the nine in the lineup. And Bichette, oh my goodness. Puts this one high in the air, and it is going to be out of the reach. We jumped at five to one. Rodriguez, ooh. I don't, again, De Leon's had an issue with the slider, and unfortunately, he misses the next pitcher. Right? So, he is going to walk the bases juice. That is not good. With one swing of the bat, Frazier can tie the ball game. Leon taking a little bit of a breather. One, two. Just late pitch is going to get be a fastball to center field. And Roman Quinn playing center today in place of George Springer. It's going to be a catch to Oscar Hernandez in the third. Smacks this one into the gap. And it's going to land and bounce up against near the MLB shot and sign. And hey, Oscar, why didn't you run the third, dude? You could have made it. Nonetheless, smart base running. Guriel is going to hit another one into a gap. It's going to bounce. Almost hop over the wall. And because it didn't, Tay Oscar is going to score. It is six to 6-1 in the third inning. The catcher, number nine. And just like that, they are replacing Marco Gonzalez. And rightfully so. Here's Jesse Winker. 40th pitch from De Leon is going to get smoked to right. Gone. Yeah, get out of here in a hurry to cut the deficit in half. 108 miles an hour up the bat. And I appreciate whatever Seattle Mariners fan actually got a recording of that. Got real lucky. That one's definitely going viral. It's Captain Vigio. Eric Swanson replacing Gonzalez, and he is going to be taken deep to right. Everybody is holding the ball, seems like. And oh, he hit it there. SDS, Ramon, give me my million stubs. 
I need a million stubs for that. Well, there should be some kind of reward for hitting that thing there. Right? Yeah, right there. That's where he hit it. Kyle Schwarber, who in the next series we play, has 27 home runs. He is clearly looking like the front runner for NL MVP. We are much more concerned about our team right now as we face Seattle. He didn't even get all of that. How did he smack that out? Hey, Biggio's got bop, man. Our stat cast is broken here in Toronto, so unfortunately you will get English units of measurement in feet and miles per hour. Here's Bo Bichette. We're up seven to three, and he's going to smack this one. Where else is it going? Into the gap. And, oh, it takes one hop and gets over the fence. His 22nd double of the year. And, oh, ah, oh, boy. Yeah, I'm glad he's able to walk that off. I don't think I would have. And this ball's going to get chopped to second. Toss to the shortstop, and Crawford will not be able to get it back to first. They will now be runners on the corner. Grills already passed the 50 RBI mark. He's got three ribbies to his name. Bang! And he has three more to it. It is 10 to 4. Oh, sorry, 3. In the 4. Oh, man. Lourdes Gurriel putting up 60% of the offense today. And honestly, we might have more in us. Let's just wait and see. J.P. Crawford, ninth in AL All-Star voting, is going to hit this one. To right, and runner at third is going to tag. And Quinn, oh, it, the ball is thrown just a bit short. Bell can't get it home. It is 10-4. Maybe Seattle's got to come back in their hands and... Winker pulls this one down the line to right. And I'm surprised he is going to. Espinel, the throw to Bichette. He should be out. Oh, come on, man. He is out. Blind as a bat. Speaking of bats, this one is going to hit the right field. And out of the uh, diving attempt by Frazier. Oh, man, he is. Bro, everybody is loose. Is that what the West Coast is like? You do a lot of yoga, you're able to do a lot of athletic stuff on oh, defense when it comes to baseball. Oh, screw that. How much athleticism do you need to blast one out? I'm not exactly sure. I don't play baseball anymore. But Eugenio Suarez shows that he's got power. And he cuts the game to 10 to 6. Sorry, 10 5. I clearly can't count. We are in the sixth. Well, Stripling is going to hang a circle change. It's Tapia makes a leap. Nope, he doesn't even bother to leap. That one ends up in the home bullpen. It is ten. Is Toronto about to blow this game? We put up 10 and 4 innings. But we have it. We haven't scored any runs, but I don't think we've got a runner in scoring position since, granted, it's only two innings since then. And I said 10 to 8, now it's 10 to 8. Man, I really need to get my math together. You know, we're on the West Coast, and it's a little early for me to be up. It's just a little too much. But we carry on. Somebody get me some of Seattle's best coffee, and uh, I don't know, I think Seattle actually drank some a couple of innings ago. Julian Merriweather is going to come out of the bullpen. He's got a near 4 ERA. Righties are hitting 321, but lefties are hitting half as much. Here's Luis Torrens. Can we... Ooh, circle change right down the middle. And a little bit of frozen circle change action there. We got 14 hits for us. 13 for them, 27 in total strikeout. Yet again, Julio Rodriguez at the bottom of the lineup. He jumped ahead. There's a runner at first. One away. The Merriweather and the slider is going to be hit to Espinal. Short toss to Bichette. Back to first. We get out of the eighth. Still with a two-run lead. Can we add on the show? We didn't. But Jordan Romano is going to attempt to get his 26th save of the year. And I trust we do so. Here's the lefty, Jesse Winker. He's going to hit this one deep 
to Toppy, and without a doubt, Toppy's got it. Now it's time for Mitch Hanniger. Ooh, swing and a miss and a slider that just dives below the kneecaps. And we are one out away from honestly squeaking away with a game that maybe we got lucky. Here's Ty France. Two seam fastball on the outside corner. That's pretty devastating. Doesn't necessarily have a lot of movement you might expect from the sinker, but it's still just it's still pretty effective. Another two seam is going to be fouled off. Strike number two. We are one out away from one strike away from going home. Ooh, slider misses, and we're going to be able to go home. Splitting this series, unfortunately. Sorry, not splitting the series. I'm bugging. This is the first game of the series. I, 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 yeah. Somebody get me some more coffee. Anyways, I'll holler at y'all in the next one. This is Ray Miller State of the Franchise Gaming. Lloyd Gurriel with a career high. Six RBIs. Peace out.